って手あげましょう。I remember coming in this room as a kid, thinking about all the cool, like real man type stuff you'd be doing in here. Yeah, just the usual horse shit, smoking, playing my gun, drinking, watching porn. <laughs> yeah, cool. Oh, I have this picture too. Minnewaska. The fishing trip, right? Yeah, I remember not catching any fish for the longest time. And How disappointed I was! And then you unloaded your entire gun in the riverbed. <laughs> Goddamn right! Those fucking fish monger be biting Uncle Joe was going to get you one by any means necessary. You scared the hell out of those North Country folks and the rest of the fish. I don't think anybody caught anything the rest of that week. Yeah, <laughs> we did. You know that's what you do. Take care of your home. That's what I did. Good fish. Hey, some off your knee? Nah. Hey Jesus,、uh, it's great you're about to become a doctor. Yeah, well, actually, I just started the school. <laughs> you must be tired of every a-hole coming up to you asking you shit once they know you're gonna be a doctor. Well, shit like,、uh, what do I do about my allergies? You know,、uh, why is the funny bone called the funny bone? What's the purpose of men having jokes? Oh no. Yeah, you know, but, but, but the good part must be women thinking you know all this special doctor type knowledge about their bodies. Like the difference between a vaginal and a clitoral orgasm. Uncle Joe, I'm studying to be a veterinarian. <laughs> your mother's always going on about you becoming a doctor. I am. But for like dogs and cats and shit like that. Right. Well, I mostly like to work with dogs. Shit. Good pay, Uncle Joe. Nah, I've just been just been under a lot of pressure lately. No worries. Yes. Job, Christmas, your aunt Kathy and her diabetes. Yeah, Mom said she's not doing great. Man, she doesn't like letting on how bad it's getting. That's really, really fucking bad.、Uh, you know, next year they're probably gonna have to hack off the part of the foot. Next year after that, my eyesight's probably gonna go. It's gonna be pretty hard to pretend that there's nothing wrong once they hack off part of your foot. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Uncle Joe. I wish there was something I could do. Yeah. I mean, Aunt Kathy always spoiled me with candy and toys and stuff. Man, she fuck. I mean, she likes her sweets. What the fuck are you gonna do? You know, I mean, it's like you figure you stay away from crack, heroin, sniffing glue. You gotta be okay. <laughs> you know? Now they're talking about cutting off part of the foot. Fuck. You know what burns my ass? You get these hippie fucks like Keith Richards and Mick Jagger. They do every fucking drug known to man for decades, and nobody's talking about hacking up out of their body. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so、uh, veterinarian, right? So it's kind of like a doctor. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Dogs, cats.、Huh? So、uh, was that special veterinarian type shit you did to the dog in there?、Uh, Uh, yeah, I didn't want to ask this in front of the women, but、uh, is there a reason you put a ball gag in its mouth? I mean, that was a ball gag, right? Yes, it is. Okay, that's so Ralph won't lick his nose. <laughs> that's that's some weird shit. Look, his previous owner left him out on the fire escape all day every day. His nose got raw. Worry about skin cancer. So. It's the best thing I can think of to stop him from licking it. What fucking asshole leaves his dog out on the fire escape? He's a Vietnam vet. Fuck that! I spent 23 years out behind enemy lines. You don't see me abusing dogs, do you? No, Uncle Joe, I don't. I fuck punks like that in the ass in prison. Fuck you in the ass, I fuck you. But when were you in prison? <laughs> I was from Goodfellas. Oh, <laughs> you heard about you know Billy Bat? This is you know what Quinn says to Pesci. Now go get your fucking shine box. Oh yeah, right, right. You remember? Yeah. No, you don't. Why? <laughs> you say yes, but you just say yes because that's the easiest thing to say. No, I mean it's not. Alright, you got me. It's <laughs> because they have a cop by us. I mean, I've seen <laughs> good fellas. You know, I'll watch it again. So,、um, you know, 
Let's go over there and beat the shit out of that fucker. The ASPCA is dealing with it. You know, I would go over there, cut a hand, come his ass to the fire escape, and see how that prick likes it. Really, Uncle Joe, you don't have to do that. You sure? I mean, it's okay. I've done it a million times. Not so much the handcuffing to the fire escape part, but as far as beating the shit out of the assholes of this world. Okay, look, really, Joe, I'd rather you didn't. Man, if you change your mind, let me know. <laughs> wow, I mean, uh, you, you must have seen and done a lot of amazing stuff, Uncle. Yeah, the shit I've seen on this job. You never told me much. What? Cop stories? Cop stories. <laughs> you want to get one of my war stories, huh? Sure. Uh, a few years back, I had these two CIs. Oh, okay, CIs. That's confidential informants, right? Did you pick that up off the TV? I love cops. I was picturing you and them as doing the kind of stuff they do on there. Bruce and Donna. Those are the two CIs. Donna, her mother was a crack whore. Uh, Donna was born Johnson Fort Dix. One of Donna's boyfriends, he had a sucker off when, he was, when she was like seven years old. He started selling out an underage pussy by the time she was 10. When you get to 17, she's a full blown whore and crack addict. Never really know much about her else. And when she becomes my status through uh, her boyfriend, Bruce, I won't bore you too much about his story, but. Uh, you know, he's like a low-level drug dealer. Uh, when I found him, uh, he was not, you know, not that bad off. I mean, as far as like street kids go, but man, he had like no parents, total foster home, locked in closets, fucking the ass. And, you know, but as street kids go, they want the worst. But now, they were foot soldiers in the war on drugs. You know, when, when you become a CI, it's like you got a little hourglass over your head. Yeah, you know, it's only a matter of time before somebody puts two and two together. And when they figure out who the rat is, the sands of time run out. When Bruce is time run out, he got his whole fucking head blown off right now. See, I don't, I don't, as executions go, it was quick. I mean, they could have castrated his ass and shoved his cock in his mouth, uh, choked him to death, which I've seen. But uh, his head was completely demolished. Uh, but you know, this is pretty run in the middle shit. You know, I've seen some shit. I've seen people dead in their apartment for weeks, being eaten by cats. <coughs> I've seen people that are OD, they're laying in the bathroom with the flies. I saw a couple that was hatched to death with machetes because of a bad drug deal with uh, Colombians over pharmaceuticals. So, you know, I used to play. You know, what the fuck? Is but, uh, what Don did. What Don did was unbelievable. What did she do? Right down at Black Avenue. She comes, she sees Bruce playing their dead. She's consumed with one thought. She wants to make love to him one more time. What? She wants him inside her one more time. So right there in the middle of the street, she gets on top of him. She starts pulling out, pulling down his pants. She tries to stick him inside her one more time. Yeah. She tried her best to stick his dead cock inside her twat one more fucking time right there on the street. Shit. And we had to fucking pry it off of him. A few weeks later, Donna fixed it up this little hot shot on the Kind of like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Brooklyn style. But you don't hear that on your top TV shows, huh? Nah. 
you know, sometimes you got to do some fucked up shit for the people you love. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to bring all that stuff up, all right? Uh, it was my job. I mean, it's, I'm a cop. Nobody held a gun to my head and said I had to do it. I guess now I know why you never tell your cop stories at the family gatherings. <laughs> Just imagine how hard the pudding would have gone down if you told that Bruce and Donna tale before dessert at a Christmas dinner. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to think about family. What? Family. You know, it's family is the is the main thing. Family is what separates us from the cavemen, from the Philistines, from the people who want to take a shit out in the middle of the street. It's family. You sure you're okay, Uncle Joe? I need to ask you something. Sure, I'll okay. This is kind of embarrassing. What is it? Hey, we're, we're, we're half Irish, right? So, you know what that means. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I know that. I'm pretty sure what it means. I'm not 100%. But blood in, blood out. You know, blood is thicker than water, thicker than lava, thicker than booze. Blood is thicker than anything. Right. Yes, absolutely. I thought that's what it meant. <laughs> not the getting sunburned easily part of being Irish, but that, that part of being Irish, what you said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, in 18 months, I can go out to 25 years on the course. But uh, the pension is going to hack it for me. Uh, if, if I go out and retire, the iPad is not going to be covered by the insurance. And with her medical problems, nobody's going to insure. So, uh, I want you to take this hammer, whack the shit out of my knee, put me in my car, drive me to the stakeout, and then I'm going to pretend I fell down a flight of steps, and then I can go out on disability. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of the left being more so than the right. Why? Well, because I'm right-handed. You know, I, you know I, I back with my right, I jerk off with my right hand. You know, I, I mean, I don't dance or play soccer and shit like that, but uh, somehow the right leg seems like it would be more useful. No, I mean, why would you want to do this at all? Look, I crunched the numbers, and I think this is the best option. How? This way, Aunt Kathy would be covered by my insurance if I'm out on disability. Okay, look, maybe I can help you look into some HMOs, which, uh, we cross. Mm -hmm. All right, all I'm saying is at this point, is that a suicide? Okay, is that gun loaded? <laughs> why am I going to use this? Not right now. Look, then why are you holding it? I'm a copy. <laughs> yeah, holding this is as natural to me as you holding your dick. Right, okay. I'm not really sure about that analogy there, <laughs> because my dick doesn't just go off and then bangs my dick. Alright, look. I need you to just do this for me. Okay. I mean, look, I, I see what you're trying to say, okay? I know you want to kill yourself and all that. I, mean, I just want you to know, when I say suicide, I'm not just talking about some vague concept, you know, I'm talking about real in the here and now kind of shit. Right, I get You it. get me? Yes, okay, it's real, but you don't get a whole lot of life insurance out of suicide. I think I'm fucking stupid, I know that. I'm thinking of doing like an Ernest Hemingway type shit. You know, I could be pretending to clean my gun and accidentally blow my head off, or I could manage to get killed on the job. Or, I think I thought of a better possibility. Disability. Yeah, you put your knee. Well, I don't want to lose my vision because I still want to be able to watch porn and, you know, <laughs> baseball, shit like that. Uh, I don't want to fuck up my hair because I still want to be able to listen to, like, Steely Dan and White Snake and good shit like that. So, uh, <laughs> I just want to be able to walk. Uh, yeah, right. Right now, I need to be a total fucking gimp. I need to be a tiny Tim fucking gimp walker motherfucker with like a limp and a cane so that the Jap doctor downtown can look at me and say, he a gimp. He no longer can do serving protecting or chase Puerto Ricans. 
Look, as a doctor to be, I'm only supposed to do good works with my hands. For man or beast. Mm-hmm. You're not like a real doctor. You're not like a, like a doctor do look type doctor. <laughs> yeah. I can't think about it. Not all doctors are completely played by the rules. Yeah. Dr. Kavorkian. Uh, you know, Doc Holliday. Dr. Seuss. You know, none of these people are like your real regular type doctors. <laughs> look, I want to help, okay? But by doing something other than doing dire injury to your knee in an insurance scam. Insurance scam? Well, that's what you think this is? I mean, no, I don't know. What the hell? I don't know what else to call it. You know, that cocksucker Giuliani, he didn't clean up the city. It was me and my kind that did. You know, maybe I was selfish. Maybe I should have kissed the ass a little bit. You know, maybe I'd be at a better high pay grade right now. But, yeah, I should probably be a cop. A street cop. A real cop. But what the fuck does it say to me now? I wasn't thinking of her. I wasn't thinking of myself. She deserves better. So, if I gotta blow off my head, that's what I'll do. And if I gotta smash the shit out of my knee, it'll be done. There's gotta be other jobs you can do. What? Uh, 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 you know, uh, agree to a supermarket? Or? Oh, yeah, what? I'll, I'll open up a detective agency, right? You know, then when the fuck am I going to be home if I'm out chasing some asshole over in Hula Hands or TGIF Friday looking for him cheating on his girlfriend? Hey, I don't know. Come on. I need you to do this. Jesus, Uncle, you had to ask me. Family. Yeah, family. And the fact that you got this medical knowledge. <laughs> With animals? Well, I mean, it's still uh, these fat fucks I know. I mean, think about it. Hey, once I retire, all I'm going to be is a handshake and a Christmas card. You know, this has got to be family. I love you. I need you. I trust you. Family. All right. What exactly do you need me to do? Be a man. Do it a good way. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, um, did we decide on the left knee? I think. I guess, uh, yeah. Alright, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You said I, left. Yeah, but, you know, but we didn't exactly decide where. Okay. Alright, so, uh, it's got to be bent in a way so it doesn't bend. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how to hit it so it'd be more believable. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, for disability. I mean, yeah. you, don't, you don't remember anything from like the anatomy classes, do you? No, well, Paul's a little different from my legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking if you hit it from the back, then it'll make it look like it exploded out. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> Percocet. See, I know you want a sound mind to be doing this. What the hell? Look, abusing prescription pharmaceuticals is the fast growing drug problem in America, okay? I can, I can get you a program. Cut this shit. This is not some fucking after school special. Come on! The Percocet will mix in with the six pack already in my stomach. That way, I can make it to the hospital. This whole night's fucking nuts, okay? Uh. <clears throat> Hey, look, can, can, can I have some of those bills? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because I'm nervous. Have a drink. It's bad for you. But I'm going to be driving. You've never <laughs> driven drunk before? Mm-hmm. I mean, Christ's sakes. It's only bad. All right. All right, no, don't make this a habit. Remember. People in our family don't do drugs. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, let me just do a quick relaxation exercise, okay?
Not really, but it was worth a try. <laughs> All right, cut the shit. All right, I got to beat the snake out in a half hour. Okay. About, it's about a 25 minute ride. Let's get this fucking shit on the road. All right. Wait, wait. How do I know? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. X marks the spot. I can't make it any easier than that for you. Give me that magazine. Give me that. Anytime not David, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to do this, are you? <laughs> I just can't. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked you. Seemed like a good idea at the time, should so. <laughs> Every asshole idea seems like a good idea at the time. Look at the even if it does help you and Aunt Kathy, I just, I can't, I'm sorry. Okay. You spend your days sticking thermometers up the assholes of hugs and fucking terriers. What the fuck do you know about busting up Wait, Uncle! I need this for work. Oh, right. Of course. You still gonna try to get the steak out, right? Uh, I mean, sure. Uh, my thumbs feel kind of weird. <laughs> but... If you need a lift, I'll take it. Good. Good. Sometimes, you just gotta do what you gotta do. No yeah. matter what. Sure. Like this for Kathy? No! 